Hello, welcome to the uh, latest episode in the Watchpoints series, which, somewhat confusingly, we're going to do on, on Watchpoints. Um, I'm sure most of you will have used Watchpoints in their simplest form at least. Um, very powerful, um, but there's more to it than just simply uh, watch and, uh, and and continue. So let's 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 just start at the beginning though, just to make sure that we're all up to speed. Here's a very uh, simple uh, little program um, that I've written, which just has a structure. Uh, and, and a couple of instances of that structure and it maintains a pointer to that structure. So let's just compile that in the normal way and then uh, load that into GDB. Start, okay, all good. So uh, let's um, let's just watch uh, the P, the pointer, right? So just do watch P and it's gonna put a watch point on that. I'm gonna continue uh, that program and it's gonna almost immediately change because the first thing this line of code does, of course, is changes it. So we're watching for changes to that to that variable, right? Writes to the memory that underlies it. So continue. There we go. We immediately hit the watch point. It was set to zero. It's now set to a pointer to foo, exactly as we expect. All good. If I continue again, uh, what we'll see is uh, what well, has changed again because we've now set p to point to at bar. So it was this pointer. It's now this different pointer. Good, all very simple and pretty much, I think, as we'd expect. Let's try something slightly more uh, uh, funky now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to restart the program. If I go, uh, here we are. If I go info break, by the way, you can see all my watch points listed along with break points and catch points. And I can see that because I've restarted the program, it's, it's flushed out those watch points. Now, rather than watch P, I'm going to watch P points to A. I'm not going to do that yet, because right now, of course, print P points to A, it's, it's P is null, so an A is the first member, so it can't can't reference that. If I next, um, of course, as you'd imagine, print P points to A, all good. Now, if I watch uh, that, okay, and now I continue, it's going to check. Now that P points to A never check, never gets updated, right? This is just it just sets it to, to to one, and it doesn't change. But if I continue, the watch point does trigger because, of course what P points to has changed. So if I print P points to A, that's now three, right? Because it's now pointing at bar, hence it's gone from one uh, to three. So, and it, it, this, this continues, right? So I could watch foo points to bar, points to baz, and what GDB is going to do is put a watch point on all of those. And so if either foo changes or bar changes or baz changes, then it will uh, update and, and hit the watch point. Now. Interesting, the watch point won't trigger when the memory is written, it will trigger when the memory is changed, right? Now, under the hood, at least if you're using x86, the x86 CPU has four uh, debug registers which are used to program these. So these watch points are hardware watch points. The program runs at full speed and the silicon will do the right thing to, to trigger a, a, an interrupt if, uh, if the memory at the watched location uh, is written to. Um, but then it'll kind of ping back to GDB. GDB will look at the value. If the value hasn't changed, GDB will just silently uh, continue. Um, and this makes a little bit more sense when you consider where watch points actually came from. This is, you'll notice if I'm set this, this watch point, I get this hard, it says hardware watch point, right? Because that means I'm using those CPU registers. And that's almost certainly what you want because the program runs at pretty much full speed. Um, but, but watch points kind of precede hardware support and, and GDB has this notion of software watch points. So uh, let's start again. And I can, well, there, you need to be a bit careful. So sometimes you just end up uh, with, a, with a watch point. Sometimes GDB will apply multiple hardware watch points uh, to cover the range being watched. Sometimes it won't, it sort of depends on partly on alignment and things like that. So for example, if I watch foo, I'm gonna watch that entire structure, that manages to do it with a hardware watch point, uh, all good. Um, if I uh, if, if that structure was, was a big array or something, it probably wouldn't be able to do it. Or if it was um, uh, misaligned, actually, sometimes um, GDB will not use a hardware watch point, but a software watch point. An easy way to always get a software watch point is to watch a register because you can't um, uh, do hardware watch points with, with registers on x86. So if I go watch $SP, right, that's going to put a watch point on the stack pointer. Now notice the difference, hardware watch point, watch point. Okay, so watch point is the default, but hardware watch point is almost always what you want. Now what this is going to do is when I continue the program, it is going to single step one instruction at a time, observe it, and then GDB is going to observe each time and say, has the watch data changed? 
Now, if you are in some situations, if you've got a small function or something, that might be what you want. If you're watching data and you go into the single step mode, it almost certainly isn't what you want because it is super slow, like tens of thousands of times slower than running the program normally. Um, so just watch out for that one. Uh, let's look now at the uh, uh, location-based watch point. So if you just refresh, when I watch P, when P changes, the watch point gets updated and I'll watch the new thing. Often with uh, C, C++ programs, I'm, I'm looking for these kind of memory corruption errors, some kind of pointer error, and sort of what variables are in scope and what they're set to at the time isn't really what I care about. What I care about is this location in memory, who's overwriting it, right? So uh, restart. Um, oh, I've still got that watch point set, so let's delete those watch points. Now, interesting, the reason that watch point preserved over the, over the restart was because I was watching stack pointer and it's still valid. When I was watching just P when I restarted, that's gone out of scope temporarily, so the watch point has been removed, right? So GDB will remove those watch points when values go out of scope, unless I do the location watch point trick, which I'm about to do. So let's start here. Okay, so watch dash, oh, no, not yet, sorry, I'm going to go uh, N so that P becomes valid, and I'm going to watch dash L. P points to A. We're going to watch the memory location of P points to A. So when I continue, the watch point's not going to hit, right? Because that doesn't get changed. Let's just show what that looks like if it does change. Um, do, do, do. So I'm going to just add, I don't know, let's just go like foo.a++, right? So I'm going to change that now. Compile that. Load up. Okay, so so now I'm going to watch. Uh, uh, sorry, I'm going to do a next. Now I'm going to do location-based watch points. Watch dash L uh, foo. I'm just going to watch the memory location. So when I continue, it stops here, right? Because it's what's happening is it's stopping immediately the instruction after that write to memory happens. Um, and uh, uh, even though P points to uh, 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 A is not been affected by that, right? Because P now points at bar. Um, but I was looking. I was, I was watching the location. Now, if you are uh, using an older version of GDB that doesn't have the watch dash L support, you can still fake it up pretty easily. Really, it's just syntactic sugar. Let's just start that again, and um, uh, I'm going to show you how you can do that without dash L. The same thing. I can watch star int star address p points to a. Except not yet because uh, I want to uh, uh, get p initialized. So now we'll watch that. Now I'm watching that. That I'm doing the same thing continue and it's going to stop at the same plate, right? So if I don't have dash L, I can just take the address. Mm -hmm. Note that you do not watch an address, you watch a variable or a piece of data, right? So this star here was important, right? I don't, I don't watch, I don't watch the address of P points to A, that's not what I'm interested in, I'm interested in the contents of the memory, hence I do that, dereference there. Okay. Um, also worth noting, uh, how, thinking a little bit about how this works, let's just look at the uh, uh, assembly here. Uh, so the hardware will stop the program on the after the instruction that writes to the memory has completed, right? So this is the right here, this is the increment of uh, foo.a and this is where we stop right there. Um, uh, there's also read watch points, so watch points by default is when the data changes, but I can use the rwatch command like that uh, to, to stop when the when the hard, when that relocation is read uh, not all hardware supports that but x86 uh, does um, that's it on watch points uh, hope, hope you have good fun with them um, thank you for listening bye bye